This is a short follow-up video on how to overclock your RAM. You may first of all ask, why should I overclock my RAM? That's pretty easy to explain. Slower RAM means less bandwidth for transferring data. I built a system with 2400 MHz kit of two RAM sticks by Crucial. There are kits out there which may go way above 3000 MHz nowadays, but prices will be higher the faster the RAM is. At some point the performance gain will be insignificant compared to the dollars you spent. And coincidentally I encountered that my very cheap RAM DIMMs are quite good for overclocking. Uh, what we will do is to push the RAM from 2400 MHz to 3000 MHz. It is also possible to push them above 3100 MHz, 3150 MHz, but I just won't want to max out the RAM here. And I got performance gains heavily dependent on the kind of application that I used. Um, so you should expect just moderate performance gains here, which are not as drastic as overclocking your CPU. So don't expect huge performance gains. And as RAM overclocking is quite a tricky task, I just show you how I achieved my RAM overclock with little effort. I didn't tinker around with RAM times at all for example, so let's just once again go back into the BIOS and change some stuff. Enter the BIOS. Go to the Extreme Tweaker settings and set the AI overclock tuner from XMP to manual. You can leave the BCLK or base clock frequency on auto or set it to 100. This will reset all your parameters from the CPU. Set all the parameters you had before for your CPU. Next go to the DRAM frequency and set the frequency to a level where you know it works for your RAM. I tested mine with lower values, but set it here immediately to 3000 MHz as I know it's working. Enter the DRAM timing control section. You can leave maximum tweak on auto, which should work just fine. If you have some problems with your overclock, try mode 1 or mode 2. You can also check the timings of your RAM, if you like to. I left everything on auto, but it might happen that your timings will be less good than with your stock RAM clock speeds. If your timings get too bad, then overclocking does not make any sense, as bad timings will contradict the higher clock speeds. For my RAM kit timings were lowered just a little bit, so that was ok. Go back to the Extreme Tweaker section and enter the DigiPlus power control. Scroll down and set the DRAM current capability to 130% if the RAM demands more current. Go back to the Extreme Tweaker section and scroll down. It could be that you have to redial in some of your values for your CPU overclock once again. In this case, I had to input the CPU cache ratios once again, so that's ok. Let's head to the DRAM voltage and dial in a value of 1.37 volts. You have to give the RAM a bit extra voltage to operate properly on higher clock speeds. And that's exactly the same paradigm as with CPU overclocking, where you raise the core voltage to maintain higher clock speeds. And that's it. Save the changes and restart the machine. Your PC should boot up just fine, hopefully. And if not, enter the BIOS again and dial in either less clock speeds for your RAM or better raise the DRAM voltage. For me, the RAM overclock gave some more speed. I gained some extra points and benchmarks. Some games led to a bunch more frames per second and overall stability wasn't any different as without overclocking. With this video I'm finally done with my basic overclocking of the system. If you missed my guide on how to overclock the CPU, you can check this out linked in the description or here in the info card. And you have further suggestions maybe for optimizing RAM performance or overclocking RAM, then you can just put it in the comments below and I would be happy to discuss this with you and hopefully see you in the next video. Peace.